recording. Welcome to Yeezy Season 1, Episode 9. Oh I mean, my God! Wait, episode really 10? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think episode it's 10. Bro. 10. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Yo. Episode 10. We made it to Episode 10. We have a special guest who I'm going to introduce first. We got Xander Gunning. Hey. Make sure y'all follow him. I know y'all know who he is. Follow him on, on Instagram oh. at Xander Gunning. Your it's host, fucking the host I am Lord. Castro <laughs> Picasso, Fat Boy Fashion, oh. and AKA Pro, in what looks like the Doom and Gloom Room <laughs> with his Kid Cuddy shirt, with his Kid Cuddy hoodie on. So, um, hey, hey, let's go, let's go. Nice. The first thing we're going to get into is I got to find the list. Oh, be influential, be influential oh, or go home. Looking at my list. It's from, uh, that's a bad, I'm sorry. I meant to say it's from, it's ascending or descending. I'm sorry. So the way that the no apps works, when I hit one, I mean, I hit 10 and then I go down to nine. It just changed things from one to two. So it's actually from 10 to one, even though it says from one to 10, it's from the bottom. Wait, what? wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, AK, you're gonna have to explain that again. That hella confused me, bro. Yeah. AK, just leave it alone because you're making Xander feel bad. Don't do that. From the bottom to the top. Oh, looking at us like we slow now. <laughs> no. The <It's laughs> bottom. I don't so, Wait, uh, One is with, ten. Ten is one. <laughs> that makes oh, okay. a lot of sense, bro. Yeah. All right. That makes Before me- we get to the top ten, I have one question. 700 bright, bright blues that we caught. No, that no release was a me. joke, bro. It was a, it was such a joke, man. I couldn't. I don't know how product. I lucked out and got a W from SNS. Hey. But I got my W. I got my W Friday morning. Lucky son, bitch. What about so, the-, <laughs> the way that went? I like I never get Ws. The only time I got Ws was last year. This year, the only W I got so far, and I just found out, I got a W on the Cream V twos last month. But because I transferred all of my money into my savings, it tried to take $100 out of my checking. Oh, hell no. Because all I had put in there was $100 for work. Ooh. And the rest was inside really of my nigga. savings. Uh, and then I got a W on the, the Mixed Moon Gray uh, Runners, the foam runners. Hey, let's so go. So the only dude. W so far this year is foam runners, bright blues. And I don't even know if I can count those creams because of how stupid I had my account set up. And they tried to take money out. Capital One sent me a notification saying, are you trying to uh, take 271.10 out of your account from sneakers and stuff? And I was like, bro, hell yeah. That's on and you, bro. Said, declined. I'm like, oh, shit. I pulled the, I pulled the cash flow. I pulled the cash flow. Remember, no, he, he, tried to, he tried to buy them drinks for 200 But anyway. Yo, someone, um, that, 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 that story, man, that's crazy. Crazy. Bro, where are you, Castro? <laughs> oh, I'm in my. <laughs> I'm in my he's kitchen. Always, he's always somewhere weird. I'm in my hey, kitchen doing the. Yeah, I'm that. watching. I'm washing dishes. <laughs> Yo, man. the disrespect for the season this? finale, bro. I'm I watching know. dishes because because they my girl got, my facts. girls are her. Nah, bro, my if, girl's coming look, from if work. If it ain't Pitney Bowles, if it ain't Pitney <laughs> Bowles, it's Castro in his. Wacky and tacky places that he be at, random places. So, so it's, it's either or. It's either or. But back um, uh, from that back to one. The, oh, go ahead. Fat boy, know how it wanna, is. Yeah, I just gotta say, I uh, I cook two pairs, bro. Of what? A bright blue. Right. Yeah. Really, nigga. How? What? Why? Yeah. What the hell? I got local raffles, bro. I don't have to say local raffles. Same size. Yeah, same size. Same size. Man, she saw one, bro. Hey. Nine. Nine. Ah, oh, dude. I hey, know, right? <laughs> hey, Z. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling it, dude. Motherfucker got two. I was kids. lucky, man. I was lucky. L- you hey, lucked out hard body, though. Nah, my, mine's just coming from SNS. They said it's going shit, but I just can't wait because that's my first W from SNS. So I feel like. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting for Monday. Out. I'm waiting for Monday. For the slides. the slides. Monday is yeah. the slides. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for Monday that. For the slides. That's why. I, um, that's why. That's why I didn't get the bright blues. So I could. So I could just wait. So I want to get a couple pairs, if I can. Mm, if yeah. I can, that's gonna be probably you know highly impossible. I'll pay resale, bro. <laughs> to be honest, for the, the resale. Yeah, resale is not that high right now for the bright blues. So 
If anything, I would say if you can get them. Then yeah, are you them. talking about the bright blues or are you talking about the, the slides? The slides. I mean, I already yeah. have a pair of the core slides, but I want another. Oh, yeah, not, that's not happening. For me, the reason why <laughs> it's not happening, I pay resale for foam runners, but I'm not paying resale for no oh. goddamn slip. I got resale for both happen. foam runners. And then I got, I paid Damn. 200 for the slides. So. Damn. But, Damn. You know, that's yeah, not I got, I got the original slides, though. Yeah, I got, I got retail for these, for the resins. Oh, okay. After that's that, what I'm going like, for. I'm I got going for the resins. 55, that's all I'm getting. I'm I heard, I heard they, they kind of improved the quality of the, of the material, so it'll be more like comfortable or something like that. I heard Roscoe was saying that. They, they still already comfortable. Mm. Yeah, they're pretty comfy. Apparently, honestly. apparently, apparently I mean, they made some changes. I, I hope they, did, I hope they didn't make them too soft. Bro, I'm wearing the Crocs right going. now. I'm not even wearing any Yeezys, hey. bro. <laughs> 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 she said, like, I'm wearing these. Crocs on did you, did little... you try to put those uh, little things that go on the Crocs? Did you try to put them on the foam runners yet? I want to know if oh, they fit. Shoot. I don't know. Maybe I yo, should. You should go. Yo, Xander. I should do that. Xander, you heard it here first. Put them divots on them foam runners. Put it, dude. ASAP. <laughs> I have to. That's I a, have to. That's a different vibe, dude. Nah, is anybody like, on the is side, anybody bro, getting like, it right here? Yeah, them. yeah. Is yeah. anybody going for the is anybody going for the five hundred lows next week? Oh, I'm I might. Eh, yeah, oh. I might. It. I, I feel I'm like I him. hope no one tries to get them. That's that's my mindset. It's already the bought hype them. is real, dude. The hype I is bought real. Them so hard. Oh, you bought them early. I got it early. Yeah, it's not here yet, but I got. I've already already bought mine. Oh, damn, dude! How much you pay? Yeah. 310. That's, oh, that's, that's decent, actually. Not bad at all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's does, that fit? does it actually fit? Yeah, it does, dude. I can put all wow. of it on. Wow. Dude, dude that's sick. That'd be a sick <laughs> photo, bro. That yeah, would, it really honestly. would. <laughs> Sheesh. So what I'll do now <laughs> is I'll do I'll, I'll do our top 10, and we'll get to Xander. So I'm going to start the top 10s off with uh, Castro. Castro's hey. top 10. Ooh. I'll do Castro first. It's my top pick. Said, what's your top ten? We're not playing basketball. What's wrong? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> so I got my list. My really, list. <laughs> first one on my list is, of course, Wave Runners. Number one. That's always gonna be number one. Um, then the second for me that. will be the three fifties. The second one for me will be the three fifty semi, the semi frozen. Cause those are my first right. easy, easy. So I, I they kind of hold oh, wow. the place. Yeah, that's my first one. Uh, third will be the seven hundred V two yields. Cause those are my third easy. So that holds a special place. Then I got course four runners right after. Mm. So that's my number four. Number fifth on my list is the V three Azels. Then after the Azels, my number fifth. I mean number six on my list is the Alva. I love the Alvas, man. Um, number seven on my list is the 500 High Tyrion, which is unpopular for most people, but fuck it. <laughs> number eight is the 500 Lows in Flame. I don't have them yet, but I'm already putting them up there because I already like I them actually, that much. I like them that much, but I actually do for some reason. I, I, I like them. Then after the Inflames, I got the 380 Aliens, the OG of the Aliens. Oh, I mean, the, no. wow, three, the OG of the 380s. The fuck? <laughs> then number 10. <laughs> Number ten is the Quantum OGs, even though I don't I don't have them, but I gotta put this whole there. list is a Yeezy list. <laughs> we oh, I mean, because you know, no I don't, you know, I don't buy anything else right now. But forever, that's <laughs> forever. a good list, though. That is a good list. That is a good list. That's I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put yeah. the Quantums um barium because I feel like I've been giving them a little bit too much love, and it's cool. Good. Good. But the OGs, I don't even have them yet, and I and I'm not I even still need them. This whole list is full of OGs. Like it was all yeah, OG Yeezys, the OG semi frozens, the Quantums, the Wave Runners. The OG, like the the well, the Geodes aren't OG. You get what I'm saying? Next person, AKA Pro. What's your list? Look at oh. uh, Okay, so <laughs> from the bottom. <laughs> Hey yo, not playing. Like Ultra Boost you know I mean? like, 1.0 that got me into sneakers again. Hey, like, you know what I mean? Like once I got into them shits, they felt great. I was like, bruh, started collecting and I haven't stopped since. And then it's the Adidas ZX 10,000. 
deadline is fucking crazy. I think I'm trying to bring more attention to it. People should fuck with it. Underrated. Shawns, I wish the Sean's hit a little harder. You know what I mean? Uh, then there's the Air Max 90. That's Which pair? If I had to choose a pair, I would. I guess I would go with like the infrareds for all. Oh. You know, class, so you know, classics. Uh, then it's the Easy Seven Hundred V Three Azel. It was good. Right now. <laughs> uh, then it's the Easy Quantum Basketball, the Jordan Thirteen Flint, the Easy Phone Runner. And at number three, I have the Cause Jordan 4. I need a pair. Classic. Uh, then it's the Union Black Toe, Jordan 1. And number one favorite shoe of all time, Jordan 6 Infrared, yo. Mm. That's a I solid pair, bro. That, right? That's solid. It's got a mixture of everything, now, to be honest. It's, it's your turn. I had a pair of those turn, sixes, bro. Hold on. Oh, he got look at it and bring them yeah, out. Yeah, he went and got them, too. Legend he went and got them. Corey. The fucking shoe, bro. Just everything. Is that the OG pair or the recent? This is the recent one. Oh, okay. okay. Have like that. It looks like the OG. Bro. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it that's does, why. Yeah. I have that like what 2016 shit or 2014. Yeah, 2016 and the whole time. <laughs> it was low as hell. Like phone posits were the most expensive. They were 180, and till oh. this day they're still overly expensive for no reason. Like they're 230. I- it's man, damn. All right. Uh, Lord, so yeah. your list. <laughs> Zeke, what's your list? Nah, you're not low. What's your oh list? Oh my Zeke? god. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, at 10, I got the, the Air Jordan 4 white cement. I still need a pair. I love that four so much. Uh then at nine, I got the uh OG NMDs. Hmm. I mean, classic, dude. Fire. Uh eight, I got the Ultra Boost one white, the all white pair. I still got a pair of those. Like I destroyed them. The color that pair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then at seven, I got the the Yeezy Seven Hundred V Three Azale. Hey. Classic. Uh, six, I got the Union LA uh, Jordan One, the Black Toe. Fire! Okay. I, I need that. I'm not gonna pay two thousand dollars, but I need it. That's uh, <laughs> Just save up. Then I got at five, I got the Nike Off White Air Max Ninety from the Ten, like the OG one. I still, mm-hmm. I still need that. Okay. Uh, four, I got the Yeezy Foam Runner Error Rat. I mean, I wear that thing every day. Uh, number sure? three, I got the <laughs> Nike Sakai LD Waffle, the green gusto, the green pair. Classic. Yeah. Anything Definitely from that classic. pack, honestly. Anything. Uh, and then two, I got the Yeezy Quantum OG. Hey. And then at number one, I got the Wave Runners, dude. Gotta go with yep. the Wave Runner. Yep. Respect. Double up, yeah. double up. There's everybody's everybody's gonna get like three pairs this year of the way from <laughs> I need, I need to those. Need I, to. I, I, bro, I might even get two and just keep them on ice and keep and then wear the one that I've been having. Just keep them on ice, yeah. I'm just, just trying trying to, lie, I'm trying to get I'm trying to I'm hold, I'm holding out for like a second pair of wave running so I could like keep them frozen and never yep. That's yep. what I did yeah, with the OG contact everything. Just crap. I got a pair on ice. Everything. Right. 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 The, you got a pair of ice of the OGs? OG Quantums, yeah. Hey, let's go. One of my favorite sneakers ever, dude. All right, Here's Lord, my list. Pick. Here's my list in reverse. Uh, number 10, the Jordan Fragmented 3s. Number 9, the Yeezy 700 V1 Suns. Okay. Number 8, about to throw y'all off because it ain't a sneaker. The Off-White Grass Rug. Really, nigga? Oh, come on. <laughs> I have that. Oh, bro. Bro. Hold up. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Are we allowing this? Hold up. Look. Hey, yeah. look at that's it. Awesome. Look at the grass run. <laughs> he be crossing all boundaries right now. He's I'm not crash. even joking. I'm a legit dead-ass Xander, dude. bro, you should, put rug, more, bro. you should take more picks on that rug, dude. Yes, you right. should. Show like, that like, shit. Yo, detail, bro. hold up. Hold yo, up. I'm about to buy my rug for 800 like I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm I need that rug. You a wild it's boy. Real, it's it's so nice in person. I swear. Yo, I need that rug, bro. I need. I that. <laughs> Y'all thought it's joke. That's my number eight. Uh, Ima- imagine, rug. imagine you get a dog in the future and it shits on that rug. Shut up. That's not happening. <laughs> Fuck that dog. I will kill that dog. 
Oh, always shoot the dog, bro. No cap. Oh, what he said. He know he hey, know. Yo. Oh, yeah. oh, you're about to have people unfollow you guys for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to you know, sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. We don't we don't condone an animal violence here. It's a joke here on our podcast. You guys, you guys, you guys about to get canceled. Hey, it's a joke, bro. It's a joke. You guys are about to get Number seven, easy quantum basketball OG. Okay, okay, Number okay. six, Nike Pippin Up Tempos, the OG pair from 2016. Nice. The Nike SB Dunk High Syracuse. The Jordan 11, the Jordan 11, the Jordan 1 Travis Scotts, mm. the Jordan 4 Union LA Ice Guava, the Yeezy Foam Runners, and number one, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. Wave Runners, That's bro. That's a good list. The Travises are amazing. Yeah, like those, like that that rug, those guava ice, that rug, and those Travis Scotts are all grails of mine that I. Wrote I had with. the Travises, bro. I got them for retail and sold them. And what did you make? I hope you um, actually I came up. I sold them. I sold them for forty two. I, th- I think I sold them for nine sixty five on goat. Ooh, Ooh oh, such yeah. a bad move. I was. So you must have sold it right off, right off the right off, off the, the rip, right? I did. I was. That was my first sale ever, dude. I I never. I never. I, I get it though. Mm-hmm. You were like, you were yeah. hyped on it, bro. I've done that. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. he was new to it. <laughs> I was like thirteen at the time, dude. That was a ton of money. I just you yeah, know. How to you're do like it. hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, you could buy like two, three Yeezys with those. Yeah, I like walking to eighth grade class. I'm like, yeah, I just made a band, bro. Like, you know, I'm like going crazy. <laughs> I'm like, that's the my life, bro. So I had first uh, sixes. Uh, sneakers and I sold them shits for twelve. I kind of wish I had kept them though, but that probably mm-hmm. robbed though. Did it drop? Well, the way mine started on my first pair of Yeezys, I never thought I'd pay that much for a pair of Yeezys to begin with. Like I told you guys before, when I first copped the way, the the mobs, that was my first ever pair of Yeezys. I looked at them, I was like, I'll take these because this earth, this earth tone go with denim. It go with almost everything, camo denim. So I bought them, and then I was just like. 267 is a decent price for a pair of sneakers. I saw it. Here I am later buying a thousand dollar pair of Yeezys, and I was just like, it's nothing, it's nothing. I, it a good thing. I just need, it to, I need two thing, hours bro. of overtime and my money is made. I was there like, I'm go. okay with that. But um, before we get into the top 10 for Xander, we want to ask you, tell us about yourself, Xander. What made you get into sneakers? What is your what is your inspiration, your fashion inspiration? Like, hmm. did you just one day wake up and just be like, damn, I like those sneakers? Or did you grow up listening to Kanye? Was your mother, because I know a lot of people's parents be like, no, not letting you No, to no, music they the definitely house. did not support Kanye. I mean, we did not listen to Kanye in the house, to be honest. Um, so let me go from the beginning. I mean, like in middle school, obviously, like sneakers were like pretty cool, you know, and like, everybody wanted nice sneakers. I wanted nice sneakers. I was more into Jordans back then. I was like crazy hyped on all the Jordans. I could never afford them, obviously. So expensive. And then I saved up my money from my 13th birthday and I bought the Space Jam 11s. And then from there, bro, I just fell in love with sneakers like from the 11s on. And I bought the Butter 350s. I got the Travis Scotts and sold them. And then, yeah. Keep going from there. That's dope. So what, what made you you know, dip into fashion after that. Like, so you was already into the sneakers. You was already like, okay, I like the Jordans. I'm a Jordan head. What made you dip into fashion and slowly dip into Yeezys? Like, what was that that push that pushed you into? I think it was honestly, I know this is kind of like cliche and stupid, but I think it was honestly people telling me that I couldn't do it is what kind of pushed me. And like, Mm. I kind of pushed the boundaries in middle school and started, you know, wearing stuff that not a lot of people were wearing, like, you know, like skinny jeans and Jordans and stuff. Like nobody was wearing that in middle school. Like they, you know, maybe they were wearing like ultra boosts and like basketball shorts. And I was kind of like pushing the boundaries from the beginning. Talk your shit, Xander. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm not even gonna lie. To me, what it feels like is around the time of him being in middle school, he was pushing the boundaries and dressing like a New Yorker. And it probably confused the hell out of everybody. There. <laughs> no, seriously, I was. Like, I was wearing because, one, six years, yeah, that's, that's definitely New York shit that's right dope, there. Bro. Like, he, yeah. he pushed it and talked his shit. And people probably now are like, yo, I like the way Xander dresses. I think I want to buy a pair of those jeans. I'm pretty sure people ask you, yo, where'd mm-hmm. you get those from so I can get a pair? No, seriously, yeah, now they do. I mean, now I'm like 16 and now, you know, I've been doing this for a little while, but back in the day, people really did not like it. It was awesome. Man, I'm just doing my own thing. 
then how like how do you feel now you know you got a following you i'm pretty sure you tell some of your friends or if you do have if you do have like your school your school friends and you don't mm -hmm. intermingle them with like your sneakerhead friends yeah how do you tell your school friends who they are because chances are they already like sneakers but they're not into it like you are so how do you approach them when telling them oh yo why do you wear these or what the hell are the foam runners because i'm pretty sure they ask these questions oh yeah it's, it's it's a very common thing especially like my high school because it's like they're not as like crazy sneakerheads as like my middle school was because i kind of like transfer high schools and all this stuff and the culture is very different so i really have to like just push it in that i'm the sneakerhead and everything and people already know that i'm like the the sneakerhead the school like i don't want to sound like that guy oh. but I'm the easy guy. I mean, I, that's like my thing. And I'm really yep. humbled to see that. But I mean, it's really dope. And um, yeah, I just, obviously the foam runners are one of those icebreaker shoes, but yeah. it's just whatever. They're the future. I'm confident in them. And I even let people try them on at school, like walk around in them, and, like with one on. And I was like, how do you feel? And they're like, oh, these are actually pretty nice. Like, you're converting look, people there. Oh, like, yeah. 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 Like, these, you really, these shoes like, are I'm ugly. not even going to hold you. You really are. You're you're what they would say like you're what old 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 sneakerheads would consider like an enigma where you you're 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 transitioning from that like he never got a chance to wait online for a sneaker release because his his sneaker releases was online. He's the new generation of sneakerheads where mm -hmm. I remember actually waiting online for a pair of sneakers and people doing shootouts because somebody else didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> or oh yo we transitioning from uh you know waiting on line for sneakers to yo my boy over here got a bot he just cop six pairs of doors it's like what's a bot can i just go first come first serve to the store and like mom and <laughs> yes, yes, yes. because of that shit because you got the old heads they mad they tight they don't know how to respond the new generation is rising up they buying all the sneakers all the merch they're getting all the, the good stuff so it's like my question to you would be has there been someone who had, who maybe has approached you and asked these questions who's OG, like OG sneakerhead, like, yo, how you get your sneakers? Because that's one thing we've talked on uh, about on the podcast mm -hmm. with Zeke, where people would inbox him or they'd inbox me, they'd inbox uh, AK, time, I'm positive right? about it, or even Castro and ask, yo, how do I get these? Because they're mad expensive. Like when I type oh, yeah. in the name on Google, it says $1,000, but it said it came out for two twenty dollars like a week ago. Yep. How do you talk to the OG OG people who may hit you up in box or people like, how do you explain to your mother? Oh, you know, this sneak is worth this much, ma, or, <laughs> you know, this is my life. Like my lifestyle is sneaker in, infused. Right. So how do you talk to people like that? That's the funniest thing is like, you know, like after I, you know, after I bought the space jam back in like 2017 or 2018, my parents thought that was crazy. It's like paid like $300 for them. And I think after, I uh, sold the Travis Scott's. I convinced them that this could actually be something, not the fashion, but just the reselling part, reselling aspect, because I was a reseller. I have to admit, I was like all in for the hype. I didn't really care about the design until I got my first pair of Yeezys and I started caring about design and fashion. Hey, and that's, and that's when my mom hopped on and she was like, yo, this is kind of sick. Like my son's into this type of stuff. And then she started helping me get the shoes, like, you know, like wait in line online for them while I was in school and I'd pay her for them. And <laughs> and that's honestly like how I've been getting them is my mom. Cause like I can't do it by myself, obviously. Yeah, she can't. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. You school. still gotta get your educations. Right. So pictures. Like, oh, go ahead, uh, AK. She takes your pictures, right? Mm-hmm. Every morning. Oh, so she's supporting oh, dope, you bro. heavy that's, on this. Nah, yeah. Right. right. I'll I'll be honest, she's all in. She's all in. It's good that awesome, you have bro. someone who's supporting you from that level of like understanding and taking your photos for you because I'll be honest, it's hard finding somebody that could get good shots of you or right. take good pictures of you on how you want the photo to be taken with the sneakers and the fit you have on. And that takes me into my last question before we ask you about your top 10. The fashion aspect. You said that uh, the Yeezys brought you into, you know, now thinking more about what colors you wear, the palettes you put together. Shout right, out I've never been panel before. But... How do you how do you put that together now versus when you were just in Jordans and, and you know, sneak ahead in Jordans? What's the mindset now when you wake up in the morning? Like, okay, 
I could put these Yeezys together with this fit, blah, blah, blah. Like, how do you do that? Oh, um, that's a really good question, man. Like my creative process almost. But you don't have or, to give it all away. You want to keep some at least for yourself. <laughs> right. Um, I do take, you know, some inspiration, but I feel like there's this like very important thing. Like I, I mean, I am like one of the younger guys in the game. So I feel like I can wear a lot of things that are just like so different and so simple, but people will take it like so crazy and they'll like support it, you know? Like, my mom always tells me that. She's like, you don't have to go all out. Like, you don't have to buy all this merch and everything. You, you can wear your, like, own thing. And these guys will, you know, start wearing it too, maybe. Which is kind of cool. And I've seen, like, some trends. Like, I've seen some of my outfits be repeated by other people. And I think it's, like, kind of cool. Uh, but my creative process, I do, like, as you can see, I do, like, Kanye a lot. And I wear a lot of this merch. And, like, I, I just bought my first, like, Yeezy season piece. Not too long ago, like, this camo. All right. And that was kind of cool. And then I bought the per I bought the purple hoodie too, and Jesus King merch of course. So I do like including his merch every once in a while, but I also like just wearing my simple things. I think that's very important. Oh, that's just definitely simple. important. Definitely important because I feel mm -hmm. like maybe a lot of people who can afford the sneakers can't necessarily uh, sacrifice spending money on like the Preach, garments. Bro. So the hoodies, yeah, the pants, like. Yeah, it, it might it might be a little too much for other people. They might they might be able to justify purchasing the sneakers. It's a lot for me but, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah. bro. I mean, I'm just you know, I I just want to invest everything I have in the shoes because I can kind of you know see a future for myself, and I just I'm kind of just sacrificing it, you know, and just going well, at it. If it makes you feel any better, then this is a a quick side note. This was prior to the whole Yeezy game last year. This was prior to really? all of that. When I would when I would go inside of the uh you know you go into the hashtags on Instagram, you type in mm -hmm. certain things. So my way of finding inspiration occasionally is I go on Google or I go on Instagram in the mentions and I look for specific keywords. So I would type in Jesus is King merch or mm -hmm. I would type in uh Yeezy 350s or Yeezy 500 And I would look at color palettes and inspiration to see if you know, see where these people's mindsets are. The mm. first picture that I saw that made me make a purchase of a Jesus is King shirt was Xander's shirt with that blue shirt with the Archangel Michael on it. And I was like, yo, that shirt is fucking fire. And then I, I liked like all the pictures of, of, of Xander wearing the shirt that's and cool. then I bought the shirt. So that's one thing. And then uh, another thing was Fat Boy and Castro teasing me with the MV, the mini Van Bones. <laughs> With the mini van bones, I went and I got the mini van bones. I still ain't got the triple blacks. But the point is, keep putting those hashtags because whether people you, find them, you believe it or not, right. people That's look true. at that. They look at that for inspiration, whether it be something as like less, because usually people go mentally, mentally people go for, okay, well, this hashtag says it only got less than a thousand or less than 500, while this one has a hundred thousand or one million. Go for those low end ones too, because there's people watching. Yeah, and it's hard to find you on the bigger ones too. Like if you have like a million plus, it's hard to find you on there, dude. Yeah, nah, you you would sure. literally have to go into um just post it on the little side tab, mm -hmm. and even then it's hard to find because there's people in there who have been posted, like they posted something about the Suns a month ago, and they're just now getting to the top of that page in the hashtag section. So that's definitely one other thing. So. Uh, now we get to ask you about your top tens. Okay. You may start. <laughs> I got to find my list, bro. Oh, all right. Oh. Here. All right, all right. <laughs> Screenshot it and send him his list. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Hold up, hold up. I said, I said to you. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Let's see. I, I, want, I want to see how I do this. All right, Yeezys. So to start off, I have obviously the OG Wave Runners, the 700 Wave Runners, and number one, the greatest sneaker of all time, no doubt in my mind. Coolest design, best color palette. Stephen Smith and Kanye West killed it. And also, I want to say something that shoe actually got me into sneakers. Oh, I actually forgot. I give that much credit. But like, I went to a restaurant and this guy was like all tatted up. He was wearing shorts and he had those on. 
And then this is when I first dropped them in 2017. I was like, oh man, those are sick. And I was like, <laughs> I was like searching up like rainbow chunky shoes and like, <laughs> 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 and like the wave runners popped up. I was like, Sheesh! like 500 bones for those. And then I was just saving up, bro, like all year and like all these years. And then I, they finally came back to me in 2019 and I finally got them. So nice. that's awesome. hit my pair too. I got number two is wild too. how the wave runners make a community. Really oh, yeah, it's wild. Number two, I'm going with the Air Jordan One Chicago. That Just because classic. they started the classic, sneaker man. game. So really did. I need to get those. I have the breads, but I need to get the Chicago's at some point. It was tough. I wanted to put that on my list, but I had to go with the unions. Okay. No, right. Yeah, unions are the best collab in my opinion. Best Jordan collab, hands down. They're not on my list though, because I completely forgot about them. But now that you guys bring it up, <laughs> it's hard to make a top ten list. When it's so, so many hard, fire man. Sneakers, trust yeah, me. I put a rug up there. That should tell you something. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That should Yo. tell you something. Your boy about to spend eight hundred on a rug. What does that tell you though? It's all the shoes, and you couldn't put a shoe over a rug though. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. I a shoe to rank higher than a rug. I removed the bright blues for a rug. Damn. All right. All right. Number three. I've got the Yeezy Foam Runner Air Rats. I mean, man, I had to go with those. They're classics already. And I that's actually kind of what got my Instagram thing started, which is kind of funny because I started posting those and people were like going nuts for them. Like the hashtag was blowing up. And that's, that's how I got like a lot of You know what? That's true. The foam runners had a little a hype. Like whoever had them at that time, whoever got them early. Yeah, you were getting, we're, we're getting, you were getting Yeah, you were getting a lot of attention. Your user engagement was yeah. ridiculously high. One though. For sure. Even if people hated them, and yo, yep. that you'd like not to cut off your top ten because we we we're gonna stop it at number three. This this that he just mentioned reminded me of when Yeezy Palette had posted him, and you got mm. grown ass people being salty in the comment section. Like oh, for bro, real, you that mad? I bro? remember that. I remember Relax. that. that was weird, dude. That was weird. I'm like, yo, you a grown man. They were like, defend you guys defending. Yo, yo, I appreciate, it, picture, bro. Like, like, are you wild? You wilding right now? <laughs> and this dude's like 15 years old and you're wild and you're you're really out of pocket right yeah now. Like, I don't like those yeah, they were going like nuts bro they were like look at this guy's face like look at this guy <laughs> I'm like yo you know how bro. old he is like y'all y'all looking at a little boy's face like y'all crazy y'all out here wilding those are the guys that live in their mom's basement and they're like over yeah, <laughs> they're just jealous the neck bears. I get it I get the it the neck man. bears but I feel like Xander, you already know. Like, if people are hating on you, that means you're doing something right. Nah, you're if they hate, you're right. doing good. You're doing. I good. learned from Ye, bro. I mean, everybody hated Ye for so long, and now they're finally hopping on. Now he's a billionaire, bro. But yep. he's always been doing the right thing. They're still hating on him. Still nah, they're still hating. Hate. Some way, somehow, there's a hate train somewhere. Whether it be about yeah. his music, whether it be about his clothing, whether it be about foam runners. Now the new thing is foam runners. What's next? Which though? is crazy <laughs> because everybody's wearing Crocs. Yeah, people been wearing Crocs for the past three, two, what two years now? It's been longer. Yeah. Since, it's been beyond the pandemic. People been wearing Crocs for that long, and you mean to tell me you're not okay with foam runners? Right. Yeah, I don't weird. know how to feel about that. I feel some type of way, but I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to your number four. Because All right, I want to. I want to. I want to hear the story behind why you like these number four. So I had to do the Yeezy 450. I mean, I loved him ever since like Paris Fashion Week when he jumped out of that limousine or whatever, that car. It was like jumping yeah. over the puddles with his sneakers. I was like, dude, I need those sneakers. Like, I didn't care what it would mm -hmm. take. I didn't care to sell my whole collection. I was like, those I need. Those are my second wave runners, you know? The shoe that I had okay. to run. Yeah, and those, okay. those were like my braille. Um, and I think the execution was great. I mean, from the promo samples and we saw the soul samples for like three years, two years. And yeah. to what it is now, it's still like honestly mind blowing. I can't even hold do you it. do you wear them often? Oh, yeah, I do. Here, I'll actually like show you. They're I don't crazy think I broke into stuff. mines yet. I don't think I have broken into mines properly yet. Mm, yeah. It's not going to show, but I, I did. Nah, it's showing. 
I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're corn. It's the crazy thing about the 450s right is now. the more I see people wear them, the, the more of the fits I see with them, the more it's like another foam runner for me. Because I already told you in the previous Indeed, episode man. how I felt about the four, the foam runners. And it makes me feel the same way about those. And I hate myself for that. Because I feel like they need to market it more towards an on, a on foot instead mm-hmm. of just showing people wearing. Like, not I mean just showing a silhouette of the sneaker. Mm-hmm. Show more on feet. And the more on feet you see, the more it makes people want to purchase it. Even though they're sure. sold out in under a minute. Yeah. I mean, I paid 400 for them on StockX. So I'm not going to say, oh, I got them for retail. That's not bad, though. That. Yeah, no, yeah, that's actually that's not pretty bad, good. though. That's pretty Yeah, no, nah, that's good. Considering they're going up now. Like, they're at five. No, yeah. I got them early, early. Like, yeah, early, like right after drop, bro. I had to get them. Same. I was so butthurt. Hurt. Yeah, it's the best time to buy. To Your number five, though, is the most hype beast I've ever seen a list. After number five, uh-huh. it's all hype beast. I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, holy Jesus. Well, I had to because, you know, you got to think about the culture, too, at the same time. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool to say all oh, Yeezys, and Yeezys are great, and Kanye's the best designer of all time. But you got to think about the culture. And so I had to put the Air Yeezy 2 Platinum as my number five best sneaker of all time. Classic, man. You want to know something? I, I just, I want to stop to give you praise real quick because he didn't say no weird, wacky shit. He said, I'm doing it for the culture. That yes. shit right there for me is good enough. He, he, <laughs> oh, yeah. he didn't say, he didn't say no weird shit. He embraced it as a sneaker of the culture. And that's exactly what it is. It's a sneaker of the culture. Yeah, Without yeah. that easy two, that air easy two platinum, there wouldn't be no easy. No, seriously, that's, I wouldn't. that's the blueprint. That's li- yep. literally the blueprint of what the Yeezys are today. So, like, I, I give you props for that. Yeah, I thanks, man. That. Appreciate it. All right, and also I just love that era of Kanye, the Yeezus, my middle dark twisted fantasy era. It's just like iconic. Oh, so I, that yeah. run was insane, dude. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Um. And then number six is the Yeezy 350 V1 Turtle Dove. Ooh. And I had to put that just because, like, that's the baby, man. That's what started the whole Adidas craze. So, I mean, I had to put that. I don't have them, though. I don't have a V1 uh, either, bro. Those those pair, I think, I think the reason why so many people, like, I'm not even going to hold you. I don't like none of the V1s. There's a reason why, though. So many people have faked that sneaker. That mm-hmm. is that the Chicago and Breads are the mm-hmm. most faked sneakers in history. To the point where someone would be wearing a fake pair, and now they're doing the fake pair of the Turtle Dove so good that you can't tell the difference right, unless you right. really put it underneath a microphone. And the materials look trash, to be honest. No hate on Kanye, but I feel like yeah, they look trash, like really bad. I've seen the paint chip. I've seen like how thin the material is. And it's really not that good. The okay. knit, right? The, the high knit yeah. on the top. Yeah. I forgot they painted the midsole too. Mm-hmm. I don't like what? that. What? Yeah, it's kind of just thinking about it's it. It's painted, man. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. Let's see what's up next here. Is All right. Under? I think six is the off white or seven. UNC. Is that seven? Yeah. Yeah. Seven, seven. What's six? The Travis Scott? Oh, no, nah, six was your turtle doves. Six was seven the turtle doves. So oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, so seven, I'm on the off-whites. The Travis Scotts. All right, seven, okay, seven, seven. <laughs> all right, listen to me. All right, all right, seven, I have the Travis Scott high OG. I had to pick that because that started my whole entire sneakerhead craze, like just like the whole like high beast craze and everything and the whole period yeah. of my life. And it's such a great sneaker in hand. Like the materials are beautiful. The execution was beautiful. And it's one of the best sneakers in history, of course. Like Travis Scott, a rapper collaborating with Nike to make a, a Jordan one. Like that's just nuts. Unprecedented. Oh, so I had to put those on there. That is true. Actually, that when you think about it, there's never never happened right was there the any first, other no. rapper was that like I, we might have to check that out but i don't know if there's the first other rapper jordan. prior who nike allowed that's insane. or jordan allowed to make that actually makes you like it more i have to admit yeah i didn't think of that 
Yeah, that's why I said, wow. man. It's, yeah. just, like, it's just so legendary, bro. Because then after Travis Scott, he opened the floodgates and you got the J, the J Balvins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And you got the unions. So it's yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's, it's wow. <laughs> really, really cool. I can't wait for those fragments to drop. The fragments oh, are man. sick. That hype is going to be insane, though. Like, insane. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, that's the only pair of fra- no, well, not those fragments. Those are the only pair of Jordan threes I like. The fragmented threes. I don't like yeah. Jordan threes. Otherwise, no, we were talking. We were talking about the those Travis Scott fragments joints coming out. Yeah, nah, those I'll, I'll get those. If you can, if you can, do shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I'm talking to, to AK about, about to, getting uh, about to a cash robot. in all your luck, dude. Nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm nah, I'm talking with AK about getting a robot. Oh, that's what we're talking about, cash already. Not a bot, but an actual robot. Yeah, not <laughs> Castro either. We're not talking about Castro. He's not a good enough robot. We're talking about a real robot. Mm-hmm. Number All eight. Right. Number eight. Dude, number eight kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, the first number, I don't know if I want to say it, but I mean, I like him. So, but the off white Jordan if you one, like UNC. Him, bro. The off-white Jordan 1 UNC, I know it's like the most hype beast shoe out there, but I just love them. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to say about it, man. It's just honestly one of the most creative shoes. To deconstruct the Jordan 1 and to do it the way that Virgil did, I mean, I just – I don't even know what to say, man. It's just so awesome. And I love how they yellowed over time. I just love that I look. think I think that, it, like, aging on them really works. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of no, sneakers, it doesn't – those, it's amazing. And, you like, if you beat them up a little bit, perfect. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, the the Chicago off white ones though is a different story. I've seen people like I like the yellowing, the aging on it, but I don't like how some people treat it. I've seen people oh, like, destroy them. Gray. Yeah. It hurts yeah. my heart. It's like that's a four thousand dollars sneaker. Can you take that off your feet? Because you definitely don't deserve it. <laughs> it's the perfect mix of high fashion and streetwear. I mean, hundred percent. It really is. It, it's exactly basically is. the off white is Dior when the, before the Dior came. Mm-hmm. And better, yeah. in my opinion. Yes, yes. Your number nine confused the hell out of me. I'd like to hear some. I'd, I'd like to hear anything on why you pick number nine. <laughs> number nine, yo, you spit the. Oh, the number nine. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this one is. This one's very interesting. This is a Back to the Future, Nike Air Mag, twenty sixteen auto lacing version. I had to include this shoe just because of how the release went and now like Michael J. Fox did it for um, Parkinson's disease and everything. And also it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And definitely my favorite movie from the eighties, back to the future. I just love it. Back to the future one, but back to the future two is really good. That's where the shoe is from back to the future right, two. Right. Back to the future one's awesome. Um, but yeah, I had to pick the shoe just because of just how sick it is. And the technology was way ahead of its time. Um, Still and is. They're just the most unattainable sneaker that you have to put them on there just because, I mean, come on, let's be honest. I mean, I'm not going to buy a shoe that's the same price of a car. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> if you want me to tell you, there's another sneaker that's very, very, like, no, not even rappers are buying it because they they don't see any point. It's the Jordan 4 Carhartt Eminem pack. Oh, no, one yeah. Is, one is 36 grand and the other is 40, 44 grand or something. The purple Travis Scott fours, dude. Those two. Oh yeah, a hundred thousand. Those are. Do sell for a hundred thousand? So yeah. <laughs> those are one of my favorite sneakers. Damn. I just love purple. <laughs> yeah, like those are amazing. Linebacker too. Those yeah. Are linebackers. I think they're like a million or something, right? Oh right. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. What are? This is a sneaker show. The Dornbeckers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they're like one of a kinds, though. I think, right? You have to. Auction. Yeah. Just- yeah, it's an auction off one. That that's kind of different though. Yeah. No, yeah, this isn't that's like a dope. GR. It's more of a shoe than a foam runner. Damn, I should have a Dornbecker on my uh, list. <laughs> nah, the Dornbecker fours are the only ones that are like kind of valid in my opinion. I, I like the fours the most. Yeah, the fourteens look like they look like a decent pair of fourteens, and then when you look at the other fourteens that came out after, it's like, oh, okay, I like fourteens now. So. For me, it was that. It was like I, I, I thought the Ferrari reds and the Ferrari yellows was okay, nice. but then that Dornbecker fourteen that looks like a, looks like an Alien versus Predator head. 
<laughs> no joke. Like a, a colorful fish or something. A rainbow trout. Let's a get, rainbow let's trout. Go, let's go. What's that next one? I'm hyped. What's that number 10? What is it? So to end my list, I have the Yeezy 750 OG. Classic, dude. Man, I don't know what it is. I feel like I like them so much because of the white lace swap. I feel like that's really cool on them. I think those are the ones that have the lace swap. Um, anyways, those ones are just so sick. And I think I got to pick them up someday. I mean, really, just any 750 is, is dope, man. Like, the quality on them is insane. Like, once you get them in hand, insane. Yeah, are those the gray gums? <laughs> Say it again? Are those the gray gums? Gray gums, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, those the are cool. Glow in the dark on the bottom, yeah. Oh, it's the glow in the dark ones, too. Mm. Yeah. There was two pair, right? Of those, that were one pair didn't glow. I don't know. I like, I, I think all the gray gums glow, but I could be wrong. Don't, don't. I don't remember that release to be honest. That's fire, bro. He, we need one more pair. Like, how do we get one another more. wave runner? We need a V two, bro. We need a V two. <laughs> what would a V two even look? Like? The Quantum's the V two, in my opinion. The Quantum is the future of it. The futuristic work, yeah. I don't know. I just, I just still like the kind of the look of the seven fifties. I wish they do a ver- like another version or just another colorway, man. We saw we thought you are yeah, the. We- of this shit, Xander. Like, where do you think this shit is going? Like, uh, the sneaker game, the sneaker culture as a whole, like, where or where would you like to see it go? Where would I like to see the sneaker culture go? Yeah. Um, I think we just need to progress and really, like, take in these new future istic models, kind of like the 450s, the phone runners, um, the 700B3s, for example. And I also do like the retros. I think personally, the Air Yeezys should retro at some point. I mean, I know it's kind of unpopular because like hype beasts are like, oh my gosh, the value will drop. But as a sneaker, I think I need it uh, at some point. But I think as a whole, the sneaker community just needs to embrace these new models and just uh, take it from there. I'll be honest, it's crazy you say that just because. I was talking to a friend outside of the outside of sneakers about the reason why Yeezys are so sought after is because he did things that a lot of sneaker companies weren't too eager to do or take you know take um risks. Mm-hmm. And by that I mean okay, you you go back and you look at the um, the Run Rochers where Kanye got his idea for the three fifties. You're right. The Run Rochers wasn't going to get that whole knit factor, that prime, that, 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 that feeling of the knit on top, the same way you look at the 380s or the mm-hmm. 350v2s. So when he did that, and then he didn't do nothing extra besides add that ultra boost or that boost to the bottom of the 350 with the knit on top. And then he gave it to you in colors with the, the SPLY 350 in the copper, the, the Oreos, the, uh, the the breads and people like that. Mm-hmm. And then you fast forward a couple of years now and it's like you yeah. go back to where it all began and it's it's all progress with the sneaker community as a whole. More so the Yeezy community because it feels like sneakers are still stagnant. Like you look at Jordan 1's nothing's changed. No, you're right. They're trying to change it, but yeah. it doesn't it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit to how Yeezys are since Yeezys are so fresh. It's a fresh take on a pair of sneakers. And I go mm-hmm. back to saying that because that Joe Rogan podcast, when Kanye was looking at this not having a tongue in the middle, it made me pick these shits up and look at it and be like, oh shit. Like besides the fact of knowing it already was no tongue in the middle. It's basically a. Sh- it's he really did design this shit to be a sneaker. Yeah, not a pair of Crocs, a legitimate sneaker. But it's just how it's designed to make and how you could just. It's beautiful. Like, put this on your foot and just yeah. go outside to the store. Yeah, and you're right. No other company has taken risks, so they're not going to get a piece of that pie. It's the same thing of how you can put Tesla. 
No one's taking oh. risks when it comes to Tesla, but now all of a sudden, everyone wants to take risks when it comes to building electric cars. Yeah. Or I mean, recently my dad got a Tesla, man, and it's Oof. it's insane. How does he feel compared to, how do he feel about his old car? So his old car was like a Nissan, and um, he got the Tesla. He just like leveled up out of nowhere. He's just like, oh, I'm going to get a Model 3. And we were like so hyped, you know? And yeah. it's, it's honestly, you can see a difference. I mean, the handling the sustainability not only that a quick side note in case he didn't notice but when you're driving any of the teslas when you're driving it down a hill it actually mm -hmm. recharges the battery no yeah no yeah and also you take it your recharges foot the, the battery within the car yeah and you take your foot off the gas pedal it automatically breaks for you that's yeah. sick man yeah it's amazing like, it, it reminds me of that when i think about it because it's like the sneaker this, the Yeezy community is the only community where you have dedicated hashtags to every pair of sneakers. Now, don't get it twisted. You also have dedicated hashtags in the Jordan scene, but it's not as relevant as, say, like, for Jordans, you just put sneakerhead or sneakers. But when you put Jordan 1s, it doesn't tick that box the same way if you put Yeezy 700 V1s. Dude, that's yeah. such a or great easy point. 700 wave run. Yeah. The engagement is higher. And that's that's only from a, a um, from you know from outside looking in, from a mm -hmm. person who probably just only does Jordans. They see that and they're like intimidated by the fact that you have so many new Yeezy silhouettes and people are interested in the majority of them, albeit it's not like the stuff we like, like the, the quantums and shit. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's only a matter of time before people start looking at things like that and they're just like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna buy me a pair of Yeezys. And an example would be um my boy who I got to get a pair of bariums, he just ordered a pair of teal oh, blues. Man, fuck the bariums, dude. <laughs> you gonna throw them behind you? No, they're already, I mean, they you know, they're getting stepped on already. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you still didn't pick yeah. them up? They still on the Dude, floor? I no, paid they're over for my variums. I paid four hundred for my variums, bro. Ooh. Post release. What? That's an Dude. that's an L right there, Xander. That's the I ain't biggest gonna lie L. to you. Because I was so obsessed <laughs> with the quantums, dude. And I could not get them. I was like, oh, I'm going to get the barium. So I'm going to spend all my money on the shoe. And this thing's going to go up so much over time. And they, they're they literally under retail now. It's I'm, the biggest. Oh. I'm pretty sure they're going for like 150 right now, dude. It's crazy. But, yeah. Nah, my boy, boy, like, oh, my boy bought his pair for literally yeah. 137. That's insane. Dude. He boy, he boy his it's for insane. That yeah, I, I might have to throw my phone out the window right now. You see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For 137, and he bought a pair of teal blues for one 159. Dude, same man. And they're a great intro model. I mean, they're comfy, they're futuristic, they have the whole easy vibe tied into one. Yeah, most definitely. So most definitely. Sandy, yeah. you probably gotta get out of here, don't you? Yeah, yeah we're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna my keep friends are, my friends you. are calling me. They're like, Where are you, Sander? All right, um, bro. Well, thank but, you for uh yeah. thank you for showing up, dude. I appreciate it. No, yeah, thank Thanks, you so much. Thank you for joining us. I'm home with that kid. Care, come bro. on for the season finale, bro. Um, you know, I hope I can come on again soon. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad. Yeah. Most you definitely. On. Most definitely. You man. enjoy yours, man. Thank you. Keep Thank doing you, bro. Keep doing you, bro. All right. Good night, guys. See you. All right. Peace. See you. Peace. 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 So from our original list, that was Xanda, everybody. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be having more stuff like this in the future and back to our regularly, regularly scheduled program. We were we went from the bright blues to our top 10 to speaking with Xander about his top 10. to now talking about the Yeezy Foam Runner Vermillions, a.k.a. the Red October. Red October. I did a poll. We're finally getting it red Yeezy. I did a poll on my Instagram and overwhelmingly 75% were in favor for the Red Octobers over the Mineral Blues. And I feel some type of way because I like both. But the Mineral Blues are closer and people are really like on that that, that Red October hype, like hype train because I think people don't know that its name is Vermilion. But yeah. they're going based off Red October. It's red. Well, it comes so it's out in coming October. in October, man. Octobers. Yeah. So like, I want to go with AKA Pro. I want to ask him how he feel about these because 
me and I like I want to go me and AKA me and AKA first simply because we're new to the foam runners and you and Castro already had y'all. So I'm gonna start off with AKA. How do you feel, bro? I'm good on them. Like I'll get them to resell them. Really? Oh, you don't man. like the brightness? Too bright? Yeah, yo, all red sneakers are like for for I don't want to say like for females, but um what am Damn, really? Yeah. <laughs> bad boy, I mean, bad boy, it hurt. Yeah. That's a sneaker and not a sneaker. I mean, I'm, the way Kanye is standing, like, not AK. to say nothing, not to sound messed up, but the way Kanye is standing right there doesn't make it any better. Yeah, no, like, I, um... <laughs> There's the way he's standing with I those on. I October's to have them as a collector's item, as, like, capital gains and shit like that. Like, it's just going to be worth money, you know what I mean? I would never... Mm-hmm. Spell for it or whatever, but yeah, nah, hell no, nah, bro. I'm good on these. I don't gotta wear them. That's insane. That all right. This guy, I mean, this might be my most hyped shoe of the year, honestly. Like, I need a red Yeezy, bro. And it's, especially being a foam runner, dude. I'll wear this shit every day. Like, I'm gonna destroy these things. You like the OG Red Octobers? Is that where the, I, like the first- okay? I'm gonna say, I some, I'm gonna say something. I don't. Like that specific easy model, the Red October. I can't remember if it's the three or the two. What is it? The uh, easy. It was three. The, it might have been a three. I think it was the three. I right? don't like the threes. I hate that model. Right. So I don't like them. I like the I like the ones and the twos. I don't like the three. So I don't really like the Red Octobers. I mean, I. I mean, I get yeah, like. I'm a I get the hype, and I get, you know, guy, I get what it did for the culture and all that, but it's just not You know what me. it is for me? I don't think I like a shoe that's completely all red. Like, this yeah. entire shoe red, I don't think I like that. So you don't like this? Nah, you I, know the, the foam runners are cool. Like, they're cool because it's what it is. But I'm not a fan of the all red colored sneaker. You want to know something? This is the first time I would ever say this. I like those only because in my mind, I already see a uh, a denim fit with that, like a Canadian tuxedo fit with those red Octobers. Well, a blue and then a red? No, like just, you know, a denim jacket, a nice denim jacket from Minimal LA. Give us a oh, shout. Okay. Give us a sponsor, please, Minimal sponsor. LA. Sponsor please. A denim jacket and like some denim jeans with those on. That, like, you don't, don't need like to that. make no big statements. It's something nice like and just dressed down. No, he's right. Yeah. That's going to happen. I'll tell you. I saw a lot of people do those all red shits. Bro, like, so you don't like the Red Octobers. Uh, I see your sneaker collection. I know you don't do a lot of red anyway. What is the hype for you? I don't get it. Like, it's just... Because I don't... It, it's something that I don't have already in my collection. Like, it's something that is unique in my collection. Because, you know, I have, like, hella white sneakers. I got hella... You know, I got tans. I got grays. I You know, I got some louder stuff, like the orange... MNVNs like that stuff. I need sun, something. Yeah, like this. yeah I need something like this. You know what else? I hope after these that the red minivans come out. Yeah, that'd be dope. That would be honestly. Fine. It'd be kind of cool if they came out like back in to the back, month week of after October. Week. Yeah, yeah, mm, that'd be I sick. I completely agree. like. Damn, honestly, if they the did fuck? a whole every single color would be red in October. That'd be insane. That would be fire. Do yeah, you know how wild that would be? Marketing would be. Yeah. I like that idea. Absolutely. I like that yeah. idea. That would be a ridiculous idea, but it would be a wild idea. And it would Come work. On, it would sell it would out work. very fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, any red Yeezy is going to sell out. That's why she's put it on a 380 so it doesn't sit. Facts. Uh, <laughs> would definitely go. Women would eat that up. Mm-hmm. 380s already look so dope on girls. Yeah, they really I can do. see small oh, feet gang taking high advantage of these. The small feet gang, the women, like you can maybe get you a, get a pair for the wifey, uh, uh, AK. Hopefully, like when he gets to the point where he can mass produce these shoes, we start to get like the throwaway colorways. Or I, I don't know, so you can just like know how Jordans do get like eventually like, every color, and then you do like holiday versions of shit, like Valentine's Day. Like, could you imagine a red top? With like a slightly like a rose pink bottom sole on a three eighty, I can see multiple. I need a pink three eighty too, man. A pink three eighty would go crazy. I would wear that in the month of October simply because it's breast cancer awareness month. I like that. Respect yeah, that because that's what I did before I sold my um 
my pink my pink phone posit. <laughs> Sorry, those break. joints sold for a pretty penny too. I ain't gonna hold you. Them joints sold for a pretty bought penny. The pink foam I bought them for two. Bro. I bought them for two hundred, and resold them for five five eighty five. That's insane, bro. So for me, that was a that was a come. Oh, no, no. What? What? I'm not too hit. What is one million? Oh. Red and scarlet for million, red or scarlet pigment. So it's it's red like October's. It. <laughs> it's red October's. Honestly, that that goes with all the easy uh, other colors, man. <laughs> we get the definitions of definitions, bro. It goes with all the bar and stuff like that. Like, who's doing the research for this, the naming? Wait, wait, hold on. Let me see this. A bright red I metal. No idea, dude. So I've far. never heard of that in my life. What cinnabar? No, vermilion. Who's heard of vermilion? I have oh. the Pokemon. Yeah. Vermilion oh. City. That don't count, bro. Vermilion City and yeah. Cinnabar oh, Island, consisting of mercury sulfide. It is the only important ore of mercury. Sometimes mm. used as a pigment, and the color is vermilion, or vermilion is the color. Sorry for those of you watching and watching us do a science class, but this was very important. Okay, to see what the hell Vermillion was. <laughs> All right, we we uh we want to go ahead and talk about the Yeezy Seven Hundred Inflame Amber. Yes, I need those. Those two, oh, by the way. Those two, really? but yes. you guys like those? Hell yeah! What you mean? Yeah, bro. Uh, I, I actually like those a lot. It. There's something What's wrong for with me it? To What's wrong with like... you, bro? <laughs> Talk about like... you don't like those, but you like the think, inflames. Think, don't hurt us like think... that. That hurts. No, no, listen. I think the blue part, that little blue part in the, in the Easy post, Mafia. Okay. They should have just changed that. Look at what those. Though. I like the brown and like. Yeah, it's, it's some a brown in there. I got some. Look, I'm wearing a brown shirt right now. What'd you say, AK? It looked different from when we first saw them, the initial mock-ups. The initial no. mock-up made it look like a reverse sun. No, they it that's still orange. coming. That's still coming. That's that's a different colorway. This is a different what? colorway from that. Yes. So there's gonna be Those, multiple inflames. Hold on, look. Yes. Yes. According according to what I saw today, I think it was influence said it. There's gonna be yeah, we have like hell of them. So right, this, those other ones didn't have the blue at the toe at all. No, right? they didn't. They didn't. So this is a different colorway than that one. Oh shoot! <laughs> kind of makes sense. It has the inflame five hundreds too. So uh, uh, that's probably going to have yeah. the inflame and another like surname as well following it, huh? Mm-hmm. Like something like that. They, they, be, they just be using the same names now for certain things. Oh, things. this is like, perfect right here. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, see, look. Like, oh, there's the there's oh, that, and then the other other side. Yeah. And then, Dude, so wait, hold on, stop it. We yellow, already got the way yellow blues. ones. Fuck. We got the bright blues. We got the suns. Now those that you're hovering over and the other oh, and flames are coming out. So. Dude, what are those high yellow ones? The yellow ones look crazy. You want to make a line? Yeah, they really do. Look at the water. Five. We're missing about five of them. No, I'm okay. Yo, Castro. <laughs> Where the fuck are you, bro? Uh, I, I'm on grocery shopping. But I'm at the store. <laughs> what the fuck? Pick me up some parsnips and some rhubarb, bro. <laughs> I'm at the store. I'm about to make. I'm about to make pasta tonight with my girl. Yo, I can't. This dude is hilarious. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Y'all see me? Hold on, let me see. Bro, I had you in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> Yo, wait. Go back. Give me a sprite. <laughs> Hell no, no bro. You, so- I'm gonna get you water. So we have a lot more 700s coming this later this year then. And a lot a lot of them look dope. Like the yellow ones. I need those yellow ones, dude. And the black soul, like yellow. That, okay, that, is. that one, yeah. I know you I know what you're talking about now. That one, I was looking at it and I'm like, you know what? I can't wait to see how that was gonna look. Cause that yeah. I'll probably get. That I'll probably that, get. Yo, that one right there really does look like it has a black soul. It does, yeah. And if it does, and if it does, it's gonna be dope. That's kind of good and bad because of what I'm afraid of. Scroll down so I can uh, fully see it. That black soul. I hope there's no gum bottom because they're always messing uh, up. They always by do putting that. a gum bottom. 
they did that to the utility, the utility 700 V ones where utility it was black. black. I like those though. And then put the but the like gum bottom too, was just the gum <laughs> bottom kind of threw me off. I like them, but the gum bottom still threw me off. That's why we're still... getting the V2 Vantas instead of the uh, utility black. So I'm excited. We got a lot more 700s then. That's exciting. And like you know what else? I know this is this is hella random. This is like a sidetrack. But I, you know how last year they came out with the 300, the 500 utility blacks uh, at the first week of December? That? What if mm-hmm. this year they come up with the 701 the utility blacks the at the first week of December? Like they re-released them. All right. Jeez, I dude. can see that. I can see them doing that. Yeah. That price going to plummet. A lot of, a, a lot of resellers is going to be tight. Because right now it's sitting at almost 500 for the utility black. That'd be cool. I, I can't see it happening, but because it's not it's not as iconic as the 500 utility blacks. I mean, unless they decided to come out with the carbon blues and magnets again, that's a yeah. different story, though. Yeah, let's let's start talk about another all black colorway. The Damn. quantums. Oh, the quantums! I need these. I'm trying not to spend these. any more money, but for 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 God's sake, <laughs> those look so good. They look oh yeah, the black, the black one. Yeah, the black ones yes. are dope. I don't like how they call them oh, onyx. <laughs> like, call uh, they, call, they call a lot of the black colorways onyx, though. Like the onyx. You know uh, what? You know what I'm like though. I'm That's really a- hoping for a basketball pair. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping for a basketball pair. Kind of looks this like week, it's. This week I may be buying my basketball pair yeah. of my old jeans. Well, it, yeah, uh, it has the knit side, so yeah, that's not the basketball. Side. I can't. I'm pretty sure that's not a basketball upper. That's yeah, no, nah, that's definitely not like style pair. No, it's probably the same as the the teals. Like it's still kind of high. It's higher, but not super high. Right. Yeah, most definitely. As long as it's higher than the bariums, I'm cool with it. And let's as as let's look at those in flames real quick as well, because I really do want another. Like the pair of five hundreds that I was looking at, like I want two more pairs of five hundreds, and the ones that I was thinking about were yeah. the the um the purple pair or the super moon yellow, and then those in flame. Hello. But a lot of thoughts. people, a lot of people are telling me that those um those purple pair that's more of a girly pair of five hundreds. It is the soft visions. I like the soft visions though. I I can fuck with that. Uh, my girl does have a pair though. Hey, <laughs> shout out to your oh. girl for having a soft vision pair of those five hundreds. Because I was gonna I get them when they were them. under three twelve. I bought them for her, so you know. Like I said, shout out to That's your love. girl. Not you. <laughs> shout out to your girl. She shout stepped on those bariums. Shout out to your girl. Yeah, that's true. Never mind. I take all my all my shots. <laughs> 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 Yo. All right. Um, next right. on the list, Adidas NMD redesign. Are yep. we feeling it? Yeah. I kind of, I'm kind of feeling it. I didn't even get to see what they look like, to be honest. I was oh, outside okay. watching. Oh, look, look at them. Hmm. Nah, you don't like them? Like nah, I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Really? I am not I a fan know. either. I'm not a fan. I kind of like it, y'all. I oh, man, the soul I looks like nice, it. but the the silhouette is. Ass. I don't like it. What the hell is this? What got wings, bro? Like what? Yeah, I'm not trying to fly in the To gym. be honest, bro, I, I think I could like it because it reminds me of the Sakai's, dude. I think that's why. Yeah, no, look Sakai's look way better than that. I'm sorry. Well, they do, but I like I like these. I might I buy like a pair. It. I ain't gonna lie. Don't do that. I'll Please. talk to your girl and tell her to 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 throw something at you. Throw the, the barium. Not Make, you be there. barium be real. Make you wear the barium no. for a whole month yeah. as a punishment no. for buying them. Yeah, bro. Mm-mm. That's a big L. I don't know. I don't like that. All right, fine. All right, agree to disagree. Yeah. All right. It's like a nice it's running. Ugly. It's ugly. If you, that's a good <laughs> running shoe. It does feel like a running shoe. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and, uh, All right. Uh, uh, the Sakai, the new, the new, uh, the new vapor waffles that dropped this week. Yes. Actual Sakai's. Save your money. Yes. Save your money Dude, the purple place. player is fire, bro. Yeah, Phoenix Suns. I got some Phoenix Suns vibes off of that. I should have showed this one last, honestly, because this pair is crazy. 
I hope you guys are in on the SNM, SNS rifles and everything. Right. SNM? SNS. Yeah. You went to uh, SNM? SNM, like, no kink shaming. My bad, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I, I am. I got no hope, though, bro. I'm on sneakers. I, man, if I hit on sneakers, dude, I don't need anything for the rest of the year. That's all I'm saying. Just, the SNS, I got the foams. He just got the, the bright blues, bro. It might be your turn. It might be your time. That's true. Well, I, I used up all my luck, bro. I doubled up on the fucking bright blues. I'm good. <laughs> you can't look hard. Oh, man, I did. Dude. But, but man, the purple pair. And there's another one coming, though, right? I the feel sesame. Like another... Sesame is okay, but that purple pair slaps. I kind of like the sesame more. I mean, purple pair is fire, mm. but the sesame oh, goes with my... everything I wear. Like the earth tones and all that. That's what the sesame goes True, with. true. I mean, I'll take I still either think one. The of purple them. pair better. What I would be going for for myself would be the sesame, just because I, you guys know, I've said it on the show, I don't fuck with purple. Yeah, you purple sneakers that. are hard, dude. They're hard. They're hard to uh, style, man. Unless uh, you wear all black, which I hate. You know doing. why? Because I'm getting those purple Travis Scott shorts too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but then it's a little too great. Then it's a little too matchy, matchy, bro. You don't want to be all purple. Nah, just the shorts in the just the shorts. Walking around like feet. Barney the dinosaur out there, shit. I could do that, but I won't. I won't. I, I, I'm not even gonna hold you when I say this. The purple shorts and the purple sneakers, the the Sakai waffles, but everything else, I was thinking of doing a reverse of the sesame and putting like some uh some sand colored socks. Yeah, to, to hit go with the purple. orange, to hit with the orange. I also hate the Lakers, so I can't be wearing purple, bro. I can't, dude. I'm a Warriors fan. I can't be doing that. LOL. Right. LOL. Whose man's is this? LOL. What are you talking about, bro? Speaking of the like Lakers, though. Of the Lakers? Speaking yes. of the Speaking Lakers, of the Lakers, though. Kobe's deal ended with Nike, and he, I think the wife, uh, rest in peace, Kobe. The wife and Nike are coming to Kobe's a, estate. A, a deal, yeah, with Kobe's estate when it comes to the Nike, the Nike yeah, brand with those. With, huh? That's so okay. Say her name. Vanessa, Vanessa Bryant. Bryant. Vanessa Bryant. Vanessa Bryant. Vanessa Bryant. He got upset because I didn't say Vanessa Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're coming to. Like I guess some type of agreement. They haven't said are, about what are they? they? Say about it. it kind of they felt like to about me. It. I kind of felt like to me from the press release they were look they were talking to other brands too, which would be weird. I I don't know how that would work. Yeah, but uh, yeah. from the press release I saw, it felt like they were talking to other brands too, not just Nike. So making more sneakers, but without Kobe though. That yeah. would that would in layman's terms support his wife and his children. So I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I mean, I could see it if Adidas did it because they already did some trash sneakers in the past, but they did some. Yeah, that is true. I don't know how that would work, but I I feel like that's I think they should continue his plan, and Vanessa Bryant should get a lawyer, lawyer up, um, and not for suing purposes, but to rewrite the contract if that's possible no so it that is, way that his children the, can still retain some type of you know mon monetary gains for their future dude that's the yeah. only reason why what's happening would happen though i'm mm -hmm. assumingly you know like one could yeah. assume that they try to renegotiate the contract true true and the proceedings didn't go well so now they're taking it elsewhere yeah, that's that's my guess of what happened. What if what if Ye takes takes that contract under his wing? Well, that's I mean Adidas could do it and then have Ye do it. Because that's what I'm thinking about. He was with yeah. Adidas though, right? Wasn't he with Adidas first? He was. Yeah, he's, he he's was. Adidas he was with Adidas deal Adidas first. first. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. If any other country company is going to do it, Adidas is probably the front runner besides Nike because they yeah. already have a prior history. Yeah, no. like it'd be it'd be weird if like you know Co like you know Vanessa Bryant she signed a shoe deal Puma. with New Balance or Puma or something because yeah, there's no be history very there. Strange, yeah. Because go to Adidas, then you can actually retro shoes that he had a say in. 
Yes. Yes. Exactly. And then you can start, you can have an offshoot of that, you know, like do other shoes. Have some like, ooh, Jerry Lorenzo come in and redo a cold. Uh, well, so-, if, so if they did that, it would be under Jerry Lorenzo because Jerry Lorenzo is the head of Adidas basketball. Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. That is, that yo, was- that would be fire. Yo, that would be fire. What if that's what's happening? What if they approached her already and we just spoke that shit into existence? It was already going By on. the way, for those of you watching our uh, podcast, this is nothing but speculation. So please don't take yeah. it as us it's churning the rumor. We just are speculating what could possibly happen that's making us happy because your boy down here, if if I'm doing it right, aka is an essential sphere of God. He's he's well, he's their uh he's their sales department. He will sell you on a pair. He will sell <laughs> you the essential shirt off his back if mm. he had to. No, I won't. So <laughs> you know what think? Well, that's mine. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Don't you come make- over. Don't stay the night and think I'm gonna let you wear my essential city. <laughs> got, like nice, yeah. like, like Jordan. It's cold out there, bro. Yeah, you can it wear really the is. hoodie. You know what I mean? But no, no. <laughs> let me city. go get you my champion hoodie. Take that shit off. Facts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. I grabbed the shot at TJ Maxx for like ten dollars. It's warm and it's cozy as fuck, though. You know Holy, let me get my Gildan hoodie real quick. Get that shit off of you. <laughs> LOL. Speaking of which, um, since because we're not gonna do the shout out since we already did that thing with uh, did the biggest shout out already. One thing that yeah, I saw that I was that I was fired up for was did y'all see the Adidas Consortium Superstar 80s X Bape? Yeah, oh, I'm shit. over Bape, bro. Yeah, Bape is no, nah, I just I like the way they did that. I, I like I, I'm not yeah. gonna buy it, but I like it. I just think I honestly think anything vape is kind of whack now, dude. Like I'm over it. It's because yeah, it's not it's not what you would call it. Uh, anti social social club and shit. Like, I hate that shit. LOL. <laughs> it makes me cringe. That shit makes me cringe because it's like that 2016 run they had. Cringy as fuck now. What the anti social social club? Yes, dude. I still see people rocking it too. <laughs> vape without Nigo is just like. Uh, uh. Mm. Yeah, that's why human made so dope because you know that's what he's doing. Keep it real, G. Like I don't even know if I want to play a Metal Gear Solid game without Hideo Kojima. You know, like yo, that's big. I don't want. I don't want a Kobe too. That Kobe didn't have anything to say. Like I mean, that's what I'm saying. Adidas, (laughs) Adidas needs to get that deal done. But maybe I don't know. I got to word this correctly. Keep it 100 though. Kobe shoes is kind of whack with Kobe say anyway. So. Yeah, I think I get what you you're saying, wrong. but then again, if if we're talking from the outside looking in, I know a lot of people who ball and they swear on Kobe sneakers. And I know a lot of people that ball that also say Kobe sneakers is fucking horrible. I mean, but that's like with any basketball shoe though. It depends on. Oh yeah, how I know a few who say that fucking, personal preference, bro. No, yeah, I know a few who ball in foam posits, and I'm confused because that's like wearing a brick. <laughs> I'm like, how are you comfortable with that brick on your foot? That's if heavy. Y'all, if y'all are looking for a dope pair of basketball sneakers that are kind of like under the radar, Adidas uh, street ball, Adidas basketball that. street ball. I got I, that's what I that's what I ball in, dude. But no, you face. know what else? You know what else that a lot of people sleep on that I think is a good basketball sneaker. You know what I'm gonna say? Come on with the dramatic pause. <laughs> the quantum basketballs. I don't think that's a good pair so to cool. actually no, ball. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's comfy. I'm trying to sell them on making on getting the sneaker. Relax. Come on, man. Somebody a easy sponsor us. Yeah, like come on. Like let them let us be great. Damn, Z shit. <laughs> He's like shit. I didn't know what you was doing. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, um, y'all need to coach really me before this. Pause real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I might. He coming back. He coming back. Ooh, he here. almost fell. It looked like he almost fell. I ain't gonna hold. I gotta get this new camera because Chris is gonna be like blown out. <laughs> yeah, I it can't really see is. Shit. What are you showing us? Is that the street uh, though? Yeah. Damn. I'm yeah. trying to show people how fire they actually are too. Not even just. Dude, those. they're so nice. If you guys want to see our, go to our Instagram pages, and we'll be sure to show you quick runs of certain sneakers that we showed up here. Especially 
from AKA Pro's perspective because there's mad colors going on in the background. You can barely see his sneakers. Follow like us on Instagram at I am Lord, at Fat Boy Fashion, at Mr. AKA Pro, and at Castro Picasso. So you can see the latest in our stories on these sneakers, especially the ones that AKA Pro be trying to show that it be all blown out, looking like he holding Ghostbuster pellets in his hands and shit. I promise you guys that next season we will be, I'm going to be able to show you guys some live shit, man. What the hell, man? That's hey, they actually kind of look really fire and all white, but there's some cream and shit in here. It's right up uh, Zeke's alley for real. Yeah, alley about the about the alley. <laughs> I forgot to try, but I, I could never ball in this pair, man. Really? It's super. Have light. you tried? I was just saying, like they're just too they're too clean. Like you see how yeah, white? Yeah, they're pretty. Like, I got the orange pair, bro. Fire. You know it's wild. I think I think uh, AK put me on when he was talking about those um, was those chucks that you had last week, last episode, episode yeah. uh, nine. Okay. The reason I say that is because I was legit on the Adidas app looking at those um, forum lows and that cream, that cream colorway, and I actually was considering getting a pair. Still am. The Orbit Gray, those, the, the low version of the ones I have, the highs. Nah, the lows. But you want the lows to- with the cream. Okay. So you know, high, and I, I kind of regret not getting a high and a low now. I really like that pair. Yeah, yeah no, the like cream pair look fire to me. I like those. I like those cream pair. Those fire to me. I but know. um, yeah, this was a long episode. Uh, if you can, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This is the season finale. We will be going on a short, short break. Make sure you share this video with your friends and we will have the next couple of videos uploaded as soon as possible. Until next time, we see y'all later. This is I Am Lord, Fat Boy Fashion, AKA Pro, and Pocket, Pocket Mahomes Cash Flow. Peace. Peace.